What's up guys? Today we have finally got a piece for the rear that we have been waiting on for a minute. Leads time for construction, but True Focus Fab has made us a single row rear bash bar for the Z. Um, these also come with jack points or they come, uh, what do they call, what do they call the, um, the crazy awesome one? I gotta look it up. <laughs> no, so uh, we got the um, single row bash bar. This is how it came. I honestly, it looks nice, it but it's really... unfinished. Oh, well, I'm talking about the packaging. Well, yeah, the but it's a bash bar, so like, it's meant to be hit. You don't really need to put it in a box, right? <laughs> well, it's meant to be hit, you know. But I mean, so wow, um, nice. we're gonna unbox it. We're gonna throw down some paint unbox. and then throw it on today. You can unwrap. That's the nice. Uh, that's gross. check out the list. Ooh. That's pretty sick, actually. That is that is really nice. That's a really nice touch. That is. Yeah. So, so we're gonna get this the rest of the way unwrapped, yep. and then we'll start painting this thing. And is that just like it just came off the thing? Yeah, here. it has something. Yeah. Well, I want stickers, so I'm gonna put that down for now. <laughs> stickers are real important. Ooh, it is stickers. Sick. There we go. Stickers, bro. More decals. And what's this? The package. Hey, we got some fruit snacks, bro. <laughs> Here you go. We got some. Like, no joke, we got some fruit snacks. <laughs> Here's some fruit snacks with your bash bar. Do you know what's funny about I that? I dig it. I dig it. Well, when I, got the, uh, when I got the lip for the Miata and the tow hooks and stuff, they sent me, like, some JDM candy. It was really good. Oh, yeah, that's right. They were those, like, pure fruits. Yeah, they were, that really were great. I wonder if that's, like, a custom for, like, you know, tuner shops that Maybe. we, like, don't know about. That could like could totally just be yeah, a thing that we nice, were just really? like not aware of. That is really nice, yeah. What was that foil? Cute little business card. Oh, Shout yeah. out That's to Andrew, talent. he's really responsive on his emails. And this Follow True Focus Fab on IG. Owner, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we got fruit snacks, card, sticker. Oh. That's adorable. Nice. Not bad, huh? A little custom line. Handwritten note. Put that over there. And Take it. Oh. oh, nice. Oh, they even come with bolts. I was expecting to reuse the OEMs. Well, now we don't have to. And actually, the OEMs were five. This is four now. Yeah, no, I just... Or yeah. six, it was six. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so cool. Well, that's cool. We like bolts. All right. Okay, so we laid down um, two coats of primer, two coats of paint. We still gotta flip it and do the other side, which is the more important side. I'm just letting it dry so it's a little bit less than tacky. Um, the paint that we went with was this Rust-Oleum. So this is gonna be the base. We actually have Duplicolor Smoke Anodized, like anodized smoke gray color, which is gonna go on top of this. But this is the base that we're using. High performance wheel um, coating. The color is steel. Got a really nice metallic, you can see it here. It really comes out like sparkly. Like it, this is gonna look, I think this is gonna look really good under the under the smoke anodized. So I'm excited, but that's an update. So let's just keep at it. All right, day two of this install. Bash bar is painted or steel metallic finish it's pretty nice so we're gonna lay down some uh, smoke anodized gray from duplicolor color on top of this hopefully it turns out pretty cool So, preliminary bash bar is on. 
we'll get a full once I'm yeah. out of the way. I'm not even mad at the way the exhaust hangs right now, I'm but not. I know it's gonna look better when we redo it. I agree with you, but no, I'm not upset at it at all. Just remember in the concept of redoing it, we still need to be able to hit that diff with the jack. Do you know what would be- that in mind. You know if this were a different type of build, I could just totally go Bozu style right here, just pop out. That wouldn't be terrible, honestly. Uh, just go like that. Yeah. Flare up. Wouldn't be terrible. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. All right, what do you need? I need a 10 mil and a... All right. Can I get an obligatory sheesh? <laughs> Can I get a whoosh? <laughs> Dude. We're kids. We are childrens. We are chitlings. Um, this looks really good, man. Canards on the uh, thing that. Uh, yeah, so we did a we did a thing. Yeah, uh, we, we did a kind of silly thing, but it's a kind of silly thing that looks really good. Yeah, if you guys caught our video, we threw these. Um, I want to say they were like seventeen dollars at the time, but we threw these Those front for four. Yeah, for four front canards. We threw them on the front, so you can check that video out. There's our front bumper. And we only had the one up there, but we yeah. had some leftovers. We didn't have, we didn't at the angle, we couldn't get the other two on. So we just had them sitting around and we had been removing pieces from the bumper cut. And I was like, why don't we, and then- Why don't we do something silly? And then it's, it's dumb, but it's kind of cool. I, I like it. I'm yeah, I think yeah. It looks, I think it looks really cool. So. Very a la little bat wings. Yeah. You know? Just little vortex generators. Does it look kind of cool? Yeah, I dig it. I, I really, really, I'm really happy with this setup. So. No, I think it looks great. It's good. We still have to put the um, Amuse rear flares back on. So I'm really hopeful that this uh, bash bar is going to end right where the flare basically begins to here. And it's going to kind of complete the whole rear end. And then um, eventually going to redo this exhaust system because the tips are hanging too low for my liking. But we but have ideas for that too. We do have ideas. So we'll see how that goes. Do this. Gosh, <laughs> I will take away your internet so fast. <laughs> okay, <laughs> try me. <laughs> Two days. You want to keep going? <laughs> A week. <laughs> Fine. Wow. All right. Uh, bash bar is on. It's actually been on for uh, like a week and a half. Um, we're reshooting this out, true. Yeah, because <laughs> the first time what we shot it, we were so excited about the fact that we got these um, little eBay canards from the front kit. If you haven't seen that video over the canard video. He'll link it somewhere. Yeah, we put these on. We were so excited about the canards, we forgot to talk about the bash bar. We talked about it a little well, the bit. The canards look pretty good. <laughs> They do look really good. Let's talk about the cut. No, I'm just kidding. So uh, the reason why I wanted to redo the uh, outro so you can take a look is because I wanted people to see how flush the bar gets to the bumper in case you're planning on doing this and you want to do a bumper cut with it uh, and how you want to do your bumper cut. So we have three eighths, oh, right? Three eighths? Uh, yeah, there's a three eighths gap there. Yeah. Three eighths from the middle. And then this tapers up to three eighths here. As you can see, there is a gap here, but I actually kind of like it. I don't think it's bad. I think it's great. I think one thing to note really on that actually is, is this point would push the bumper out if it was, if you didn't do the bumper cut. Because mm -hmm. this point would pull the bumper back out. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, true. I actually kind of like that the bumper pulled in. No, I do too. That's what I'm saying is, is if you did try to put the, if you did try to put this under a factory bumper, it would pull it back out. Yeah. Versus yeah. if you have it cut, then now it's you know pulls in a little bit. It looks nice. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So um, yeah, keep that in mind. Three eighths of an inch looks to be exactly where the uh, the bumper meets the bar. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's great. The the construction is fantastic. The welds were great. I would have left it unfinished if it if, if it didn't rust. But we went with the anodized smoke gray, and it came out really nice. We're gonna add that to a couple other pieces on the car because yes, it looks so nice. Yeah, actually. It, it worked out really well. Yeah. So um, that's how the bash bar looks. It looked great. Um, this one in particular is just a single row without the jack point. Two hundred and forty dollars from uh, True Focus Fab. So check them out. Uh, shout out to True Focus Fab for sending this bar out to us. And Fruit Snacks. Dope. And for what? And Fruit Snacks. And Fruit Snacks. Thanks. We did get Fruit Snacks. We did get Fruit Snacks. I ate them.
Nice. <laughs> and they were all grape except for one. Oh, she is right about that. Actually, they were all grape except for one. <laughs> How interesting. It was like all grape, one orange. Yeah. Huh. Whatever. Random. I doubt they packed them, so. <laughs> no, for sure. That would be really weird. That'd be kind of um, funny, actually. So uh, that's going to do it for our bash bar video. Let us know what you guys think of the bash bar how you think the rear end of the 350Z is coming along. Obviously we have the Amuse uh, flares are not on the car right now, we're working on them. And the exhaust was just recently done as well. So if you wanna check those videos out, we will put them somewhere. But let us know what you guys thought of the video in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. And we appreciate you guys.